Hello, everyone. Um, today, this video will answer one of my uh, fearless forecasts so far that uh, one of this day, the um, Pegaxi tokens, this and PGX will be volatile, meaning the price movement will be massive. But, but before we uh, answer when will this be, let me just uh, make our usual disclaimer that Everything that you will hear from this video is not a uh, financial advice. That they are all they are all only from my own um, opinion. That second, you you should always be your do your own research. And lastly, this is only a guide, and it's not meant for um, uh, for uh, your decision making. At the end of the day, it will still be you who will decide. I just hope to enlighten you and make some um, uh, guided uh, guided um, information in terms of the um, information that I will going to show to you. So let's proceed. I am forecasting that the price movement of the VIS and the uh, PGX token will be massive on the Valentine's Day. Why? Pegaxi already announced this beforehand that they will have a Valentine's breeding event. In fact, they didn't really say that it's Feb 14, but since it's a Valentine's um, breeding event, I, I assume it will start on or before Feb 14. And they're even, uh, they even gave some teasers of what can potentially be happening on that day. You can either, you know, when you breed on that day, you can either get a twin Pega or Maybe they will try to reduce the um, cool down time for both breeding and racing. Or you can receive a Valentine's skin and border. Or the fourth one is cheaper breeding costs. So I'm pretty sure so many breeders or almost all the breeders are looking forward into this. And I'm pretty sure that they also reserve at least, at least one of their um, parent Pega to wait and participate on this event. So what will be the potential movement of the um, Pegaxi um, tokens? Well, both this and the PGX might go up or will shoot higher than what is it, it is normally. So mainly because it's because of the breeding, right? Like, as, as I've shown beforehand that they will be offering a lot of in incentives and prices for this um, breeding event. So I'm pretty sure there will be a huge demand for the tokens. And as we all know that uh, we need the VIS and the PGX for them to breed some Axie. So what, what to do now if in case the um, price goes up? So you can either seal the profit so let's say you're happy with the price. Let's say, let's just say um, the VIS token will become 0 0.3. Are you happy with that? And you're holding a thousand in your hand? Well, this is now the time to um, sell and convert your um, um, tokens into cash. Or if you want to just play it safe, you can just convert them into USDT because as we know, USDT is very stable at and peg onto the US dollar. On the other hand, what's the other potential movement of the tokens? You may have guessed it correctly. Obviously, if it will not go up, what's the other potential scenario? Both this and PGX may go down. So what causes this one? Uh, this is just my suspicion, my forecast, my analysis that since the dev team is looking to burn all those um, tokens that they got from all this massive uh, breeding recently from new investors, um, I guess this will be the time that they can also burn the tokens. So meaning they will sell a lot of tokens too buyers and not only that long time long time holders may take advantage of this event and when they see that the prices shoot up they may eventually sell a lot of um, 
the tokens that they've been holding for a long time. So obviously, what will happen if there are more sellers in the market? Obviously, the price will crash. So this could also drive the movement of the tokens going down. So if this is what's happening, what, what can we do? Well, if you have an extra money to invest, it's time to buy the dip. You know, you don't want to buy when it's high. You want to buy and accumulate more when the price is low. Second, did you notice that when the um, BIS token is low, the horse prices are down? So this is also the best time to buy a horse, whether it's a virgin horse or not. Once you see that the price dips a lot. I always check the marketplace and they're very, very related to each other. When the tokens are down, the prices, of course, are down. When the prices of tokens are up, the price of horse are up. Because obviously we know that the VIS um, is very dependent to the breathing of the peg axis. And also, if you're a breeder and you don't have enough VIS, vigorous token to breed, this is also the perfect time for you to buy while the price of the VIS is low. All right, so that's the three options that you can do in case the price movement is going down. Conclusion, um, for me, if, if, if I'm a breeder and I'm participating on that event, Obviously, I will not late, wait until the last minute to buy tokens. I want to do it beforehand. First, because you know sometimes, um, uh, as we know, that um, in order for you to buy a VIS or breed a PEGA, you need some VIS token. And if you don't have one in your wallet, you need to import some USDT, convert those USDT into PGX and um, uh, VIS and that takes uh, a bit of time and sometimes um, crypto exchanges are congested or sometimes they suspend the withdrawal so you don't want to miss out the event so the number one that I highly recommend is make sure that the tokens that you will be using for the breathing is already in your wallet beforehand and also while the token prices are stable because we don't really know. No one knows if it will go up or it will go down or it, we, no one knows, no one knows. These are just my assumptions based on this uh, announcement that was made by PEGAXI recently. Second recommendation I can do is um, be prepared for both of those scenarios. And um, as I've explained what you can do, um, you can prepare like, like for me, um, I, 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 I set aside some tokens as a USDT, just in case there's an opportunity for me to buy tokens or horse. And at the same time, I also leave some to uh, PGX and BIS there, just in case it will go up and I can make a profit. Um, third, if, if nothing change, if, if the prices are steady, well, we don't need to do anything, just continue as we are at the moment. So yes, guys, I hope that that uh, gives you an idea in case, not only for this coming um, breathing event, but even in the future, once you see a massive price movement of the um, VIS or PGX tokens, I hope those tips that I gave you the, will, give, will give you an idea of what to do in case those um, price movements will happen. That's all for today, guys. I hope you've learned something. If you, if you, I, I want to know what you think about what I just said. Um, again, I just want to 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 repeat that uh, this is just my forecast. It, it 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 could not happen. It may happen. So no one knows. I at least I was able to prepare you and give you some idea in case you know what 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 to do in case that will going to happen. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe and share this if you find it meaningful. I want to know your thoughts. Please comment below anything that you think about this video. If you think it will really uh, do a massive um, price movement during this big uh, breathing event. But whatever it is, I always say do your own research. And yeah, let's, let's see what will happen on the hearts day. Until next time, guys, see you and let's go and race.